Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another example video here in C++ and uh, today I just want to take up a really, I just talk about a really really important thing about references, something that I missed uh, earlier and something that I might have said incorrectly as well. The thing is that a reference and a pointer Genet genetically, like inside the computer, they're both, you know, they hold addresses and stuff in that way, but the way they work is that the reference is a direct alias for the variable it is pointing to, right? It, it cannot be changed. A pointer can be changed, and that's why writing them is a lot different, you know, and the use of them is, is different. So let me, let's just take and go through references here. So it, we have two integers, 10, and an integer b, 10, all right? And we have our reference, and remember, a reference has to start with a, with a, that's how you write a reference, by the way, you, you tell it that you want to make a reference, for a pointer it is the asterisk, alright, but anyway, uh, you have to initialize it when you create it, so we'll initialize it with A, you can't initialize it with 10, I'll show you this, for example, a constant value, it'll say it needs to be a non-const L value, right, uh, or yeah, a, a variable. So we can give it a. But what happens if we don't initialize it? It's going to say that requires an initializer. Okay, so you're safe. You have to initialize it. So R is now an ali alias for A. It is A. It's the same thing as A. Okay, you can access A through R just as it, if it, was, it was just a different name or something like that. So what happens when we see out R right now? All right. Well, we get the value 10. We don't get an address or anything. It is a direct alias to A. So it became A. What happens if we do this? You might think that we're changing what uh, this reference is pointing to. Okay. What is going to happen now? You know? Now I'm going to explain this. This might be a little confusing. We get 10 again. While B... Oh, whoops. Whoops. What the hell am I doing? Let's make that 120. Let's turn that off. Okay, so what's going to happen now? Well, we get 120. Well, why is that? Oh, R is pointing to B now because B is 120. What happened? No, 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 no. That's not what's happening. R became A. Okay, it became A. So whenever we write R, we actually mean A. Okay, R or A's value is changed to 120. That's what happened, not that we're pointing to B with our reference here, okay? Here, 120 is printed because A is changed, and we can prove that by doing this, by printing out A here as well, all right? 120, 120, see? So we did not change what it's pointing to, rather we changed the value of A, what R became, okay? So that's what we did, so the value 10 is gone here. So that's a reference, cannot be changed, it cannot be changed after you first create it. So you can think of it as a constant pointer, but still, don't do that. Just think of it as an alias for A. And this is mostly used, you don't use this outside so much, you use this inside functions and stuff where you want to access the actual variable, okay? So don't don't think you're going to have to write this in, in, in code, uh, or at least not to my knowledge, I don't think you have to. So let's go through a pointer. Well, what is an int pointer? We'll call it p. Okay, and we'll also assign it to a. Okay, it got the address of a. All right, it's the address of a. Now, that's why we have to write all this stuff with pointers because they can change variables they're pointing to. They can access uh, the the actual address uh, in it. They can change stuff. We can make two pointers here: int p two p1, p2, and the other one is pointing to b, okay? So you can change addresses here. Let's see what will happen. Okay, here we'll start with the pointer stuff. So p1 is at a. Let's let's write out uh, p1's value, p1's address, and then p1's value, okay? By dereferencing it, remember the co wording here. It's really important, okay? And we'll be p2. And we'll we'll just print them out. We'll see. It should be now. It should be 120, 120 because we did all this reference stuff. But what if we do this? There we go. Now it should be 10, 120. All right. So the two addresses differ. P1, 
because two different variables and stuff and the two values differ as well. So what happens if we do this? Well, P1 equals to P2. Okay, what's going to happen? What do you think happens here? We did not dereference these. Okay, if we dereference them, we're accessing the variable. If we don't, we're in the accessing the pointer address. Okay, so if P1 gets the address of P2, it doesn't mean that A becomes 120. It means that P1 is now also pointing to B. Okay, P1 is also pointing to B now. All right, so P1 also point, pointing to B. So P1 is pointing to what P2 is pointing to. It got the address. These pointers are actually like number or a string, for example. You just think of them as a string just uh, holding an address to something. So you can change that address as well. You can make it into gibberish and stuff, but compiler will stop you, hopefully. Uh, so what happens now? Well, they're pointing to the same thing. 120, 120. They have the same address. Do you see that? B, B's address is being shown here. Okay, they're in the same address. And what happens if we do... Let's see this. What happens here? Well, now, the addresses are differing. See? A is it's still pointing to A, but it gave A the value of B. So, 120. Okay? So, that's the difference here. That's the difference here. We can do that as well down here, just so you have a nice, uh, so you can have all the examples in the same place. Uh, okay, so what we have to do is P1 equals A again, the address of A, so that we're good. Uh, whoops, P1, P2, A gets value of B. Okay, just like that. So that's the two different things you can do. And then we can just print them out again. And we'll see the big difference to what's going on. So here they started pointing the same. Then they I put them back into what they're supposed to be doing. Pointing to different ones. And then there you go. Bam. Bam. That's how easy it is. So that's the difference between a reference and a pointer. Okay, alias. And a pointer is just an address holder. References are aliases. So they become what they're initialized to. Okay, and they cannot change that anymore. They're bound to that. So yeah, I hope this helped you. And I hope you guys learn something and just uh, keep working hard. And yeah, hell yeah. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.